Tripura is a historic place of indigenous people since distant past. Altogether, 19 different tribal communities who mostly came from Tibet, Mongolia, foothills of China and Upper Burma besides some state of India subcontinent in different waves settled in this territory. Among these tribal communities, the major tribes are Tripuri, Riang, Chakma, Jamatia, Halam, Lusai, Kuki and Mog. There are also some other immigrant tribes and sub-tribes residing in Tripura. The subject of interest here is Rangkols, who are the sub-tribes of Halam community. Rangkols are said to have migrated to Tripura from the foothills of China through Burma. Ethically, they belong to Kokasu, Mongoloid origin of Kukichin tribes. Their language is also similar to that of Tibeto Burman families of Mongolian tribes. Among the 18 sub-tribes, the major ones are Rangkol, Kaipeng, Chorai, Molsum, Ranglong, Koloi, Rupini, Sakachep, Thangachep. History says that the then king of Tripura observed that few different categories of tribes have no specific identity have entered Tripura. Moreover, their numbers are also negligible. Thus the king gave them the title of Halam. Here Ha means earth and Lam means path in Kogboro. Rangkwals live in Tripura at many places like Kamalpur, Ambasha, Takarjala, Jampuijala, Teliamura, some pockets of Udaipur and Kailashahar. Rangkwals usually live in tong house generally made of bamboo and chon grass. They make this dwelling hut in the interior forest near any water source. Rangkos are habituated to stay in cluster villages either in hilltop or plain areas in peaceful coexistence among the community members. Their dwelling houses have also changed from tong to mud wall, though they have regular track to deep forest food gathering activities. Rangkos families consist of father, mother and their offspring. Father in the family acts as head of the family. Mother looks after all the domestic chores which include cooking, walking in the jhum field, collecting firewood from the deep forest, fetching water and look after the children. Young girls generally help their mother in all sorts of domestic works and also go to jhum field and work hard. They become accustomed to all traditional culture of the family including rearing the cattle and poultry birds. Young boys in the family help their father in jhum cultivation and also get trained in catching fish, hunting of animals, making of tong house, handicrafts works beside other family essentials. Old aged male and female members of the family teaches all traditional rites and rituals to the younger persons. Old women also look after and perform family rites related with birth of a baby, marriage and death culture. Economic life of Rangkos is governed by food gathering activities related with surrounding forest embankments. For selecting of chum land, they perform puja. 
Ochai performs several rituals and offer cocks as sacrifice to the bamboo maid deity. In the forest, they work hard for jhum cultivation. Right from cutting jungle up to the harvesting of crops, they collectively work to get bulk production. Female members of the family also take part in the whole cultivation process. They clean jungle and distribute land equally or as per ratio of family members. After cutting of jungle, within first part of February, they make fire on dried bushes, bamboos and trees. In June, they produce everything they require. All sorts of vegetables, cash crops, and paddy are grown in the June. When elderly person in a group are at work, another group is busy to collect firewood edible plants, roots, leaves and flowers from the forest. They separately take meal of rice, packing it with leaf to remain fresh for several hours, taken from the house in the early dawn. They also make a hygienic and nutritious curry jointly in the jhum field. The cooking process consists of boiling bamboo shoots and vegetables in a matured bamboo pipe by burning the upper side of the bamboo pipe. At the leisure period, they usually gossip or sharpen their reaper.
Rangkhas are fond of eating meat of animals and birds. When they hunt animals in group, firstly make a cordon and then they chase the target. Meat is generally distributed among them equally after a hunting. They are also fond of fish and catch different types of fish in stream and logged water. Bamboo meat catching equipments are used for these purposes. During leisure time, Rangkhos make different types of basketry and containers with bamboo for their use and sale. In this context, they are very expert and show an artistic nature. At present, there are also small businessmen among them. Some of them own rubber garden, big pineapple garden, orange garden and betel nut garden through which they earn sustainable income. As June was their only source of livelihood, all cultural activities therefore involved with June. Their major dance and festivals are also related with June activities. They perform June dance where in the form of dance they imitate different actions of works in the dance. After a hard work in June field, they return to their village and gather in courtyard. That time they release themselves with music and gossiping. <laughs> Thank you.
Rankhos observe New Rice Festival after harvesting of June crops as a community festival. They organize this festival with participation of all villagers. A colorful stage and pandal are made with bamboos and flowers. A series of rites is observed in this festival. New paddy and many other materials are generally placed before the deity of wealth that is Mother Lakshmi. A symbolic piece of bamboo is kept in middle of the pandal which decorated with colorful flags and colored papers. New cloth is also given to the Mother Lakshmi. Ochai chant mantras and sacrifice cocks and pigs as offering to the deity. Following this festival, they also appease other deities for peace and prosperity of the family. Large number of villagers attend this festival and enjoy the day by dancing. Women folks dance to the rhythm of drum. Flutes accompany the traditional songs around the stage. Lastly, they celebrate the function by eating a grand curry of pork and cock with country liquor. Only after this festival, they use new paddy. Rankhos are found in colorful dresses and ornaments. Rankhos women make their lower and upper garments through law and loom. The designs they make in the clothes are similar to cookie communities. They walk together right from separating seeds from the cotton to make cotton thread.
Men use a long piece of cloth for lower part and also use a pagri. When they wear traditional dress, they could be identified separately from other tribal community and this shows their vigor and strength. They use ornaments made of German silver in the ear, neck, hip, nose and feet. Women are fond of dressing up in wild flowers and garland of different color seeds, roots etc. collected from the forest. Marriage is a part of life in human society through which a family advances towards coming generation. At the age of 17 to 18, girls are married with a suitable boy. As per family custom, marriage takes place through negotiation. The parents inform their son regarding the arrangement of marriage in advance. Then the boy's father and mother visits the girl's house with the elderly relatives and community priests to finalize marriage wherein all sorts of rites are to be followed. Mother of the son gives them presentation of wine, cloth, money, etc. After the decision of both the parties, date and time of marriage is settled. Future bridegroom ask for from all the elderly persons present there for a happy life. On the day of marriage, groom along with the friends and relatives attend the bride's house to take away the girl for the actual marriage solemnized in the groom's house. The groom party sings asking to take the bride with them.
In reply, the bride party also sings a song as setting some conditions to fulfill by the groom. On the way to groom's house, a long procession is held where everybody dance and sing song with pleasure. The Ochai observes several rites related to the marriage. A poster of happiness by the Ochai reflects here in Groom's house. <laughs> Elderly persons all gather and bless the new couple for the bright future. <laughs> Langi and Lika are largely used in this occasion. All of them try to keep the occasion memorable by enjoying themselves. Community feast is also arranged by both bride and groom's party. Meat of pig or goat is the best choice for this type of grand feast. When women became pregnant in the family, Ochai is asked to visit the house to eradicate all the evil spirit supposed to hamper the pregnant lady and the baby. During puja, one cock and chick are offered before the deities and entrails of both the birds are checked by Ochai to forecast the results of the puja. At the pregnancy period of nine months, another puja is also performed on the bank of a river or chera, wherein some of fruits, flowers and flesh of chicks are offered to the deity. After delivery of the baby, a feast to the relatives and the friends is given by the father of the baby. Ochai also gives herbal medicine to the mother for good health and bountiful breast milk for the baby. All the children in the family pass an eternal period of their life in love and affection of all elderly persons in the family. They are also given all cultural attachment according to their tradition.
Tribes usually have belief in animistic rites living in the natural environment of forest. Rangkwas believe that there are multiple evil spirits which have direct or indirect effect on their life. Thus they offer so many things including birds and animals before the deities to appease them. Mysterious sound, thunder, bad dreams, unforeseen occurrences, heavy rainfall, unknown diseases of epidemic form, etc. have the major role to mold their lives and beliefs. Ochai therefore act as their religious leader and fortune teller. Moreover, the Ochai give them herbal medicine besides conducting pujas. Rankos believe that their misfortune can only be reduced by the Ochai. Besides animistic rites, Rankos believe in Shakti cult, perform puja of Shiv Kali and also perform Ker puja with great attention. Followers of Vaishnavism also exist among the community members. Originally Rankos were Hindus but since last 50 years some of them have converted to Christianity and all rituals relates to Christianity are followed by them. Rankos have many indigenous games played by them. All age group of community members enjoy these games very much. Sarinda, Kham and Flute are their major musical instruments through which they once played sweet melodies. But at present few persons remains to play these musical instruments. Rankhals have their own social administrative organization. Rai is their socio-religious leader who has the power to punish offenders and to solve minor disputes among community members. Nowadays, however, this council have no such power that once Rai had exercised. Present panchayat system of village administration, however, do not intervene in any minor issues if there is a decision of Rai or Chaudhary. But in case of criminal offences, civil court takes major role and they can seek justice through civil court. <laughs> Among Rankhals community, when someone dies, a drum is bidden to pass the information to far away among the community members. All of them show their affection for the dead person. The relatives and neighbors offer money, food and longi to the deceased. The dead body is also decorated with flour before it is placed on the tolai. In presence of all the villagers, Ochai performs funeral rites of the deceased. <laughs> the 
the tholai is made for funeral procession up to the burning ghat all community members participate in this last journey like other tribes they also burn the dead body with fire wood after burning the dead body they perform some rituals at river or chera Christian community bury the dead body after some rites as per Christian religious code. Community feast is arranged by the nearest kin of the deceased for the well-being of the deceased soul and rebirth. Like other tribal communities of Tripura, socio-economic changes have also been witnessed among the Rankhals. The entire Rankhal community and their people have now developed according to the social transition. they don't entirely depend on jhum any more as they shifted to plow cultivation large numbers of people among them possess rubber gardens huge water areas for fishery and other small businesses their children now go to school colleges and university they now work at government offices and in different economic sectors improved infrastructure in the rankhals area particularly in road connectivity water supplies electricity schools market public health center etc are now available to them now they enjoy their life having all modern amenities within their reach even though they are now adapted with the modern period but still they feel as a dweller of deep forest and have an attachment with the deep forest keeping their traditional lifestyle passed through the generation for last thousands of years so some melodious tune of a traditional song and beautiful posture of dance by rankhals boys and girls glorify their own culture